So I just made two long videos. It's supposed to be how I go through medical school without being a nerd. But the first one ended up being like my foundation as a scientist. And the second one ended up being my life as a medical student currently. So this one's going to be some techniques I use. So remember, I got a great foundation. I got a great brain. I guess that comes before the great foundation. I got a great brain, got a great foundation. And I'm not a moron. I know that I need to get enough sleep. My bed is in that direction. That's why I'm motioning over there. I don't prefer to sleep on the floor because I don't get as good as sleep on the floor. So make sure you migrate to your bed and have a good pillow. Make sure that your pillow is the proper thickness for you. This may sound funny, like, oh, this is how you do good in medical school. Yes, it is. It's how you do good in life. You optimize yourself. Instead of just spending your time aimlessly, optimize you so that everything you do is more efficient. Sleep well. I just ate some salmon. Eat well. I'm gonna eat some grechka. Eat well. Drink enough water. My classmates thought it was suspicious how often I go to the bathroom. They were also suspicious of what is in my water bottles. Water. Because you should actually be drinking a lot of water. And guess what happens if you drink a lot of water? You do a lot of pissing. So yeah, only suspicious thing there is why they think it's suspicious, which prompts me to believe they are dehydrated and their brains are not working properly because they're dehydrated. Guess what else? I think they are not sleeping enough. And that's why they drink coffee. I mean, I fall asleep if, even if I sleep enough. But they're always complaining about not sleeping enough, so I don't need to be a master detective. Sleep more, eat properly, drink enough water. Oh, and is there something else I do that I spend lots of time doing? I wonder, do I just put my hand down my pen? No, I go to MMA. I go to the gym with weights. Because you, you could call the MMA a gym a gym also. Every day I'm in the gym, at least one gym, if not two gyms. Even though it takes me 40 minutes to go to MMA, 40 minutes to come back. While other students say they don't have the 20, 30 minutes to walk home from class, I spend 40 minutes to go to MMA, I do MMA, then I spend 40 minutes coming back. Oh, and then maybe I go to the weightlifting gym also. Maybe I hang out with friends. You gotta focus on you. Uh, I actually recently found like an hour ago this Dr. Tony Huge video and Leo in longevity they're talking about how Leo optimized his life and like he lived very minimalistic. Well I think I already worked hard enough when I was in high school. Luckily I had a good life. I didn't have to grow, grow up in a horrible environment with uh, nothing in my house to focus. Uh, luckily, although it caused us a lot of problems, my family stayed very quiet and I occupied our dining room table. That was my table. I'm very lucky. If I did not have a good family like I did, a good house with a good dining room table, it's a big marble table, you know, that's very important because if you do it on the wood, it doesn't work so well. No, I'm just making this up. But really, you, you want to have a really big table. So if you don't have a big table, you can't put a lot of stuff everywhere. And you want to have a lot of stuff everywhere because say you're studying chemistry. You got to have like your paper you're writing on, you got to have your textbook, you got to have your notebook, you got to have your computer. And then maybe you write some stuff and you want to like put it over there and not over here and you got to have lots of room around you. Invest in a table. I don't need so much room anymore cuz I don't have to study much. But if you are still in your studying phase, invest in a big, big table. And one that you like the color of. Uh, yeah. Do not spike your blood sugar while you're studying. I see people eating candy bars and stuff all day. I don't 
need to optimize my time anymore so I could do that. But if I was actually trying to get the most out of my studying like I did in high school, well, I, actually, I'm at fault here because I, I ate ice cream every day when I came home. But on the weekends, when I did, like, 14 hours straight of studying, I never ate sugar. No, no, no. If you want your brain to work well, and you want it to work well for an extended period of time, do not eat processed sugars. Keep a steady blood sugar level. Um, know your body. I actually now do. Remember, it's a lot easier for me. There's not that much I need to know. <laughs> but, not that I plan this out, not that I think it's ideal, but my last few exams, I have drank the equivalent of, like, 6 to 12 beers the night before the exam. It works for me, apparently. Hold on, I gotta eat. Oh yeah, you could see that I'm in my underwear. See how I just ate right then? It's because I know my body, and I know I should eat. So I do it. Don't be stupid. Drink water. Eat food. Eat good food. Don't be snacking on candy bars. Walk. You need things circulating. You go to class during the day. Oh, you have a break. Now you're going to sit down and be on your phone. You're retarded. Go walk. Eat some food if you need to eat some food. Take a leak if you need to take a leak. Guess what? You should pee all the time. My classmates thought it's strange that I go to the bathroom all the time. But guess what's strange? Feeling your bladder stretching and distracting your mind instead of just walking to the bathroom and taking a leak. So yeah, it's not that complicated. Optimize yourself. And remember, it's not just about the stuff I said. You've got to keep a healthy mind. That means have enough relaxation. Now you, maybe, like when I was in high school, I could not relax every day. So I had one day out of the week where I would relax. I alternated between Saturday and Sunday. The idea was a lot of the times to get all my studying done and then I could relax. But then I started doing it on Saturday sometime and I just study on Sunday. I think it's best if you do it all. So what I would do is I'd wake up early on Saturday actually. I don't know, it just turned out to be Saturday, or maybe it was Sunday, I don't know. But the point is, like, try to finish all your studying, and then take a whole day off. Take two days off if you can. But do that pretty much every weekend. Because if you don't, you're going to go crazy, you're going to get stressed, the stress is going to bring down your overall health, you're not going to do as well, it's going to preoccupy your mind. You need to physically and mentally relax enough. I'm going to end this video soon because I need to eat more food. I can feel my blood sugar a little low. Uh, doesn't help that I took some insulin, actually. Uh, yes, I'm not afraid to take medications. Uh, it's going to save my pancreas, keep it living longer. Well, the beta cells. Because they don't live forever. Plus, my shoulders feel overworked and I could use that tiny little bit of extra anabolism from two and a half units of regular human insulin that I took. But I gotta tell you something to close the video out. Yeah, don't be afraid of relaxing. Don't be afraid of partying. But you have to have it in moderation. You have to do it enough. But you can't let it waste all your time. So that's why, like in high school, I had that one day where I could just completely...
completely relax. Oh, maybe I didn't show it over here in this video. But I got a lot of alcohol over there. Yeah, alcohol is not the enemy. It can actually be very useful. I am certain that I would do a whole lot worse if I never had fun, relaxing time with friends drinking alcohol. Yeah, so maybe you think, oh no, I'm just going to study every single day. No breaks, no nothing. Well, you, if you can get through it for school, you're going to burn out later. You didn't burn out today, but you're going to burn out later. Life is about balance, and if you put something too much out of balance, eventually things break. And yes, I'm going to be eating my grichka very soon. Don't worry, I'm not like, dangerously hypoglycemic. But I've also been talking a lot, so I'm just tired of talking.